Let's give it up 100. Yo, so in everybody's life, there's a time that comes where you have to grow up a little bit. You have to become a little bit more mature. You got to grow with your age and the time. You know what I'm saying? Because we all get older. A lot of us don't get more mature, but we all get older. You know what I'm saying? So it makes sense to grow and um, act more mature with your age because nobody stay the same age forever. I'm saying this to say I'm tired of a lot of the stupid shit that I have to see on the Internet, on YouTube. I don't have social media. I only do YouTube. But I'm so tired of seeing so many pretty much garbage ass videos that is full of trash. Like, it's really... I don't even know what propelled niggas to even post some of the shit that they fucking post. You know what? You know, no, nah, I, I know why. You know why? Because y'all support us. Whatever y'all support, a nigga gonna come back with more of that bullshit. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Especially a nigga that loves him some views and some attention and all that shit. If he see the views, he gonna keep doing that stupid shit. If they're supporters, that's supporting that bullshit. This video in particular is about Bullets Gotti. That name is complete and utterly an unfit name for this type of individual. I don't know where. Obviously, this this is a kid that watch a lot of fucking mafia, gangster, mob movies. Listen to probably back in the day hip hop, how niggas used to rap that mafioso shit. And he think he's one of them type of niggas. He think just because he from where he from and he sound like he got a little background in the streets. He thinks... It's a valid lane for him when it's not because he's nothing like that. For one, we all seen the video of the Mexican kids punking you out real bad. They did you real bad. They ran their hands down your fucking legs, down your pockets, nigga. All in your pockets, going through everything that was in your pockets, taking whatever they wanted. And you did nothing about it. Nigga, you ain't even look mad. You ain't even look upset. You sat there. Come on, son. Come on, son. I don't want no problem with you, son. That's not no mafia. Mafia niggas don't get down like that. Mafia niggas willing to die for what they believe in, my nigga. Listen, I'm not even about to go into that, though. What I'm about to go into is the fact that Bullets Gotti, and I'm calling him that just for name purpose so I don't sound like I'm all over the place. Bullets Gotti was in Hassan Campbell's chat the other day um, after Hassan did the video with the cops saying the cops planted a gun on his lawn or whatever. Bullets Gotti, first he did a live saying, pray for her son, you know, pray for my baby because she's really going through it right now and I'm praying, so I need everybody to pray for her too. I think he even tied it alive, that shit. So he's in Hassan Campbell's chat and how I know the nigga was in there is because he started posting money. He started putting money in Hassan's super chat. First he put $10 and immediately I was like, Damn, this little bitch ass nigga, nigga, how you even have any type of money when your shirts and your clothes and your hair never cut, your face look like you don't wash it, you look mouldy and stick, like nigga, you don't even look like you take showers regularly. So how you have money to give to a next nigga? I don't get it. But when it's it's your baby, of course, you'll find that shit. So I seen $10 and I was like, well, all right, you know what I'm saying? This nigga really do fucking support and love a sign Campbell. And before I could even before before I can even get off of that thought, you know what I'm saying, that this nigga really just gave this nigga ten dollars. This nigga posted fifty more dollars. Here's the receipt. Like, seriously, nigga? You giving a sign Campbell fifty dollars? When your mouth look like you be hungry as hell for days, they say you live with your grandmother. You don't look like you work because you always on the internet. That's for one. So we can only assume you probably eating off of her checks that's coming, her disability checks, her retirement money check, whatever it is, her pensions that you living off of your grandmother's money and you a grown man, online calling everybody out, but you ain't calling yourself out. You can see everybody's fucking bullshit, but you can't see your own, right? Nigga, you're suspect like a motherfucker. I don't know how anybody follow you, man. I remember when Sonetta asked you, um... What you thought about Poppy saying he'll stick two fingers and I smoke hip hops, you know what, right? Nigga, you did not answer that question at all. You kept going around it. Well, you know, I, I, I don't know. It, it wasn't like that. Like, I, I, you know, nigga, it's either yes or no. It's either you agree with the shit or you don't agree with it. All this going around shit, you're just exposing yourself. You want to say you don't have a problem with it, but you don't want to say that. But that's how we took it, idiot. 
And then a nigga asks you if you would let that nigga stick two fingers in. Yo, you know what? And you still didn't answer that. You still didn't answer that. So how am I supposed to take that? Nigga, you know how I take that. I take that as you're painted rainbow on the inside, but your, your colors on the outside is trying to show off like you something different. But nigga, you're rainbow. You're nothing to be respected in any type of way. I don't know what type of people follow you, man. I have no idea who subscribe to your shit and tune in to your shit. I tune in and pop shit. Nigga, you know what I do. I come in there. I call you a fucking clown ass nigga. I call you a dirty bag of laundry. You just look stink, my nigga. Get your life, man. Get your shit together, my nigga. You, you are in no position to talk shit about anybody when your life is so fucking off the tracks. Like, your shit is off the rails and it's not going nowhere fast. You can't walk the streets. Take your phone. Bullets got it. Take your fucking phone one day and walk down the street that you live on and show me where you live. Go outside and show me that you can be outside. He's never did that. He can't do that. He cannot do that. This nigga's entire, um, entire, um, uh, personality or whatever is a persona. It's not real. You know what I'm saying? And it's a sad fucking thing because you got these little bitches in your fucking chat thinking that you saying something. You got these niggas following you, calling niggas, you know, hopping on, like calling niggas dick riders and niggas hopping off, hopping on niggas. John, like my nigga, come on, man. That's all y'all niggas do. Y'all riding this nigga tail. Why? Because he got 8,000 subscribers and y'all niggas is under that? That's never going to get me to support anybody, man. Bullets Gotti it's, is somebody that I clown out. Every time I see him, he's just a fucking, he's a nut show. Just like his girl. Just like Hassan Campbell. Just like his chick. Or his crush. It's really not his girl because, you know, even after he posted that $50, Poppy didn't even shout him out. You know how he shout out everybody that put money in the chat. I ain't even hear him say shit about Bozo Gotti. So it's like, wow, son. You doing all that and the nigga don't even see you. It is what it is, man. Bullets Gotti, you're a whole dub, man. That's all I got to say. You're a clown.